Holidays are my favorite thing. They are so amazing. The thing is that I never get the chance to travel during holidays. So when there is a chance to, I always look forward to it. We booked a tour to the Great Ocean Road. It's awesome to be a tourist. We meet in the city to join the rest of our tour group. They have a bus ready for us. So far, there's nothing in my holiday that has been that interesting. Today's the day. It's the last week of my school holiday, and I'm planning to make the best of it. It's pretty exciting to see a change of environment. Our first leg of driving will get us to a little country town called Lismore, and we're going to stop in Lismore for a morning tea break and have that essential cup of morning tea or coffee. <laughs> This is awesome. First leg of the countryside. Oh, okay. Um, you could if you want to, but the only thing is there's not much room. So up the front I've got a tiny bit of room with the bags are there, but I need to pull the In terms of the elephant reference, if you look from left to right, it's basically a side profile of an elephant, minus a trunk, minus a tail. <laughs> Our very first site for the day which is the beautiful Logan's Beach in the city of Warrnambool. Our first great stop is at Logan's Beach. It's amazing. The coastline stretches across the land and the beach is just beautiful. that I keep referring to is a place called Tower Hill, which is a beautiful sunken volcano that happens to be home to many Australian wildlife species. The wall structures at Tower Hill were amazing. Everyone was keen to explore the place. We followed the trails that led us deep within the place. I spotted one echidna on the side of the path. I'm pretty sure no one else spotted it. Oh, yeah. Holy. Yeah, is it? Oh my god. Since this place was a wildlife reserve, there were emus walking around the road. Pretty amazing, right? station I'm choosing is right across the road from the Warrnambool Cheese and Butter Factory. Much, much more interesting I believe it would be for you guys to have the opportunity to taste some of this local produce. Head straight to the coast, covering four coastal sites this afternoon, namely <coughs> the Bay of Islands. At this point, it started to rain. We headed towards the Bay of Islands. I wasn't going to sabotage my views and part of my journey for rain, so I left it at every single bus stop to go for a photo and video opportunity. on 
to the Bay of Martyrs. The Bay of Martyrs was beautiful even though the weather was not. I remember saying within the trip, what's the point of going travelling even though you don't see every site? Then the grotto. Some could call me the adventurous type, others would probably just consider me plain dumb. I wasn't going to let the weather get into my way. And finally, London Bridge. After a whole day of driving, everyone was exhausted. Maybe I was the only one still enthusiastic at 7pm. Shortly after, we had dinner, and then everyone went to bed. In the morning, we had a typical breakfast, and we set off to go again. First up, we're heading to the Lockhart Gorge. There's a wallaby on the right, guys. See? Yeah. I don't know if you'll still be there. Oh, ready? Oh, 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 did you all see it? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. <laughs> Finally guys, you get to see the famous ones, that's coming up next. After a short drive, we arrived at the Twelve Apostles, the most famous place of the entire Great Ocean Road. It was an amazing sight to see. Now it's called Gibson Steps. This is where you can get Gibson all the way down to beach level. It really puts them into perspective in terms of how massive they really are. Forest walks in an area known as the Otways. A dinosaur, absolutely. It has survived the test of time and as a species is millions and millions of years old. We know this thanks to 
fossils that have been found of the Myrtle Beach. Most important way they give back is when they do become a food source, which is exactly what this is. This little guy here, don't get too close, you'll, you'll understand why in a second. You can admire, but please don't touch. Um, he's called the Otway Black Snail. So he's actually native to this area. He's not found anywhere else in Australia. And the reason why he's so interesting is because he is carnivorous. Ooh. Now, as you guys know, snails are normally vegetarians. Would you agree? Yeah. Yep. So if a snail is eating meat exclusively and it's moving at this kind of pace, how is it going to catch meat? You have to ask the question. The answer is he is armed with a very potent venom. So he doesn't need to actually hunt. There's so much food in this rainforest for him that he can just go along at his regular pace, very relaxed, because it is absolutely inevitable that somewhere in the course of his day, food is going to cross his path anyway. When that moment happens, he spits the venom out and bingo, there's his next meal. Just 15 minutes down the road from the rainforest is Apollo Bay, so straight on to lunch. I imagine you're all feeling pretty hungry by now. Would I be correct? Yeah. For lunch on the second day, we stopped at Apollo Bay. We made a quick stop to look at the beautiful view from the lookout point. Then we're going to head to a town called Lawn and stop there for some afternoon tea. After quite a long drive, we stopped at Lawn for afternoon tea. There were plenty of birds flying around. Not just birds, but cockatoos. The kid, the junior that is, will be down in a minute unless you'd like to take her to up the road. Ocean Road Memorial Arch. We'll head on to the Split Point Lighthouse. We headed for the lighthouse. <laughs> Split Point Lighthouse is well known for being the lighthouse in the Australian television series called Round the Twist. Weary and feeling tired and thinking, how many more, Jude? The answer is one more. Bells Beach to come. Our final destination oh, wow. was Bells Beach. It was an awesome beach. They had very rich waves. The tour guide spotted kangaroos in the distance as we left Bells Beach. This was a bonus to the very end of the tour. Unfortunately, my iPhone camera wasn't detailed enough, so the kangaroos weren't that visible. And tough luck, my DSLR died at the same time. What a great time for me. It's been two days. Two days of great awesomeness. From beaches to volcanoes, from buildings to beautiful sceneries like oceans. You just could not help but continuously look forward to the next minute. There was sure to be something interesting. Well, if you ask me what the best part of the day was, well, you've seen it all. I enjoyed every aspect of the trip. This has been the best start to my 2017 year. Probably the best start to any year I've had.
Going on a tour was such a great idea. It's been fun. Now I'm looking forward to the next time I ever go on a tour. Let's hope it's as great as this time.